second helping of Dirty Dining. Well, 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears goes to school, a middle school where failure to control cockroaches led to a kitchen closing down at a hefty cost. A failing grade for pest control at William Orr Middle School cost taxpayers almost $1,000 in fines and fees to the Southern Nevada Health you know, District. You know, because I don't think that that's right. Having all those cockroaches, uh-uh, nope. Neither does the health district. They shut down the school's kitchen and student store on March 11th for an imminent health hazard and unsanitary conditions. CCSD says they notified parents via the parent link system. I did not know about that. There was no notice. I never received the notice. Mm -mm. But the students sure knew about it. What did your daughter tell you? My daughter told me that they had cockroaches and I think um, rats, I believe, I'm not sure. Health inspectors were alerted when someone filed this complaint, saying I observed roaches crawling on the cafeteria floor where the students were eating their lunches. The roaches were crawling from underneath the food cooler. That person also saw dead roaches in the light panel and said this has been an ongoing problem with roaches and rats for several months on this campus. Teachers have installed rat traps in their classrooms and the roach issue has extended into the restrooms. Health inspectors following up on that that complaint documented a systemic, multi-generational German cockroach infestation throughout the school, including the kitchen, where glue traps were filled with bugs. Roaches were crawling on the walls above boxes of apples and below where staff served students their food. There was a dead roach on the sink where staff was actively washing dishes. What responsibility do you think the school has to make sure something like that doesn't get to this level? A whole lot. I mean, they have to take care of it. They have to be on their A game. Health inspectors called William Moore non-compliant after finding roaches had also infested storage rooms, restrooms, and the multi-purpose room near lockers. Roach feces, known as frass, were all over the place too. In the student store, scattered trash and leftover food on the floor contributed to unsanitary conditions. I was asking her, let's trade her, let's move her to another school. During the closure, William Moore was not allowed allowed to serve any open food, just a limited menu of pre-packaged items from the CCSD commissary. That lasted for a week until it was re-inspected on March 18th and got a zero demerit A grade. But even during re-inspection, there were still live and dead roaches, roach feces, and food left on floors. The inspector wrote that pest control at the school may continue to be a challenge. CCSD staff will do a deep cleaning and further treatments during spring break. The principal at William Orr wouldn't even take my phone call. He referred me to the district's central communications office and no one there would go on camera. They sent a statement saying staff worked quickly to remedy the matter and the school has an ongoing pest management program. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.